Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So guys, um, of course, nah, after this kind of a sell-off, we the weekend is is still on. We we have been in this region here where I am, which I am calling a wave four. Yes, um, which is a, a after such a uh, such a sell off, which which is not compared to this one, which is not a really a sell off. Yes, it's it's getting if you compare to the previous sell offs, it's uh, it's getting weaker. It's, it, it, we can see that the that perhaps this is the end of the whole trend going down. But perhaps just because. Uh, I, I see that it's getting weaker, the movement, the, 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 the pressure, the selling pressure is getting weaker. So are we gonna put in this wave three here as I am calling it, okay? The way I see it, the way not only I see it, but some analysts see it, is that we are still in this wave three here, this white degree wave three to finish the higher degree wave three. And then we're gonna retrace it and uh, go on and on to this wave five here to finish this C. Um, it's 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 one one probability. It's uh, it's likely that we are we, we won't finish it here and we we're gonna go up, but we must be prepared. Okay, we must be prepared. So this is my stop loss. We might, if you want, put a little bit higher, like six one eight. This was my target for the short. If you, if you are shorting with me, or if you consider this as a, a good target for short, you are now in a profit. Okay, this was a 50% for our wave four. I consider it a good target. We hit this resistance here, yes, and that's it. It it it, it hit the resistance, and now it's going down. Remember, this was a previous support. It's now a resistance, and now this week here is confirming this as a resistance, okay? And then we are now going down. The way I see it, okay, I'm short in Bitcoin. I don't think we are gonna go up, but I would be glad to be, I would be happy to be wrong. It's, it's okay, I, I'm gonna flip. Just as we are, just, just as, I have I have done many many times. I'm gonna flip to to a, to a long easily. It's and I, I'm gonna forget about my loss and I'm gonna go on and on. Okay, don't forget that. Um, <clears throat> so those are the targets minus three three sixty percent. So in order to really confirm that we have indeed this wave three here going down, we need to break the six k support. Okay. This region here we need to break this that's uh, there is no other way we need to break and start going down and establish it perhaps remember uh, this chart over here well which I call this which I am pointing this huge confluence here minus 618 minus 33 60 percent uh, we would have a double bottom okay it's exactly the same chart but I am uh, I am counting up. Uh, it's exactly the same. But uh, when we s actually, why uh, I am considering this as a W X, and then this is an A B C for this Y here. It's a bit different, okay? Because instead of co counting this structure here as an A, then a B and a C, I'm counting this as a W X, and then we have an A B and a C, okay? It's a bit different and we have a, a bit of a different target if we count like this. What I don't like about this count here especially is that this W doesn't look like an ABC and this X doesn't look like an ABC. So this is a caveat to this count. This, uh, this, this whole movement here looks like a motive, not like a zigzag, an ABC of any sort. This is this, it's a sharp movement down. It's it's the train. It's following the trend going down. 
This is a corrective movement. All right. But I assume that I am, I am, I, I'm not comfortable with this count. But nevertheless, it it doesn't really change what we are, what we are looking at here. It doesn't change a lot. So. I am allowing myself to count this as a no, not not like this because this is a two hours chart. When I look like with precision, you see one, two, one, two. I, I have I have been through this and counting it over and over all the extensions, and it doesn't look like an ABC at all. Okay, so this is an A, B, and a C. What this uh, tells us is that we would have a, a lower target. So only time is gonna tell you what's gonna happen. If we have we have plenty of algo targets. Remember, I've told you guys this. Uh, I told you guys this on Friday. We have plenty of targets here, algo targets pointing, and especially the 127, 20 percent of this A, B, C target of this projection here. So this is a region, this would be 5,100, okay? This region here, I would be paying attention a lot. And this would be a really nice target for this WXY. Oopsie, not this one, this is the extension. Let's... Yes, actually, I don't think that this WXY, um, WXY, count is really gonna happen it's you see 100 is really down here for 4700 it's it, it means a, a a really lower target if this is happening w x y and then we're gonna have the z here i i'm gonna this just disregard this w x y honestly i'm i am uh, stretching the guidelines too much here this is actually an A, B, and a C, okay? And uh, w the problem, though, is that the hmm, A, B, we would have this A, B, and then we would have an A. The problem is that a b c for this is a b and then we will start the one two three four five to finish this c because we need to have a motive impulse or a motive diagonal to finish the c wave so don't forget that if we have this um we need to change the count let let does this together okay <laughs> i'm just to make it a bit a bit more consistent right this the B would be this whole structure here guys okay not only this structure this would be the a a wave inside of the B then it was this would be a B this this sideways structure finishing here and then this C okay exactly like here we would have uh, getting of course a running flat because the C would have failed to go beyond the level of A, but nevertheless, the, this B wave would have uh, retraced at least 50% of this A wave, which is within the guidelines. So this C would be really, indeed, really weird. I understand that. But I was talking with some other analysts just to, this is an exercise of, uh, of getting ourselves um, of getting ourselves, um, this, I'm sorry, I'm talking and I'm uh, trying to make sense of this thing here. This would be the C here, starting with this one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm, I was talking with some other analysts to try to make to figure out what's happening here, and it's kind of quite difficult because this whole movement here looks corrective. Okay, so that's the thing. If this whole movement here looks corrective, this whole movement, let, let, let me mark it for you. This whole movement here looks corrective, okay? It's not a, there is no, there is, uh, it doesn't, of course, this one here looks like a, uh, it's going for the trend, but then we have this 
movement here correcting it. So inside, the, so we have this X going correcting the Y, and then we have this structure here as a A as a part of the Z uh, again uh, going for the trend, and then the B wave, which would be this where I mark this structure here. This would be our C, uh, our B. I'm sorry. Guys, this, um, let me change the, the color of this. This green, the green is not ready. Uh, let me make it thicker. You see this line here, not this part here. Pardon me, let me. This part here would be our B, but it would be a running flat, okay? This is our B, then we would, would start this C here. We would have tried to break this 50% tr twice. And then that would uh, sign us that we would go down and then we are bouncing out of this this trend line, this blue trend line. And so we don't have yet this wave three finished of this higher degree, as I am showing you guys here. Okay, this is the, 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 the count that I am kind of comfortable with, because when we see this is the, the, the higher, higher um, higher degree count, okay? Blue, this blue one here. The, we, would, we would need to finish this one, two, three, four, five inside of this tree, okay? We have all those targets here, minus 3360, minus 3820, minus 618, and then we would, I don't know, we need to confirm that this is indeed a, a motive impulse wave down, okay? And uh, I don't, I, I know, I don't like this B, it's, it's a bit weird, it's a bit odd that C is running flat like this because the C would be here, right? Let me, let me show you guys. A, B, C. C would be weird, I, I, I agree. This would like be an ending diagonal. Um, and we don't have such a, a strong movement going down that would characterize a moving diagonal, but... I am expecting some kind of surprise or I'm expecting that this count perhaps is not correct. Okay, but this is, uh, again, I'm not, I'm not breaking any guidelines here. I am playing Elliott Waves the way that I should, the way that we should. Okay, so we have this B here in a corrective structure, uh, correcting this structure here, this A, B is correcting it. And it's a lot of noise. I don't like to call it noise because I think that everything is part of the structure. But we have this, okay, noise, a lot of indecision. This movement here is, is getting every every time weaker and weaker, this, this selling movement. So I don't know if you're going to test this 50% again. Perhaps we see uh, something really going up here a kind of a movement going up testing this 50 percent and going down and testing this 50 percent in, in kind of making a triangle here then we would need to consider a different count okay what we have for the week the weekly chart sorry um the weekly chart is this one and again we have this tentative cross bearish cross here 21 ema 55 ema we are below this trend line here and we haven't closed the weekly, but if we are indeed, if we close the weekly chart below this, this trend line, this is going to sign us something new. We haven't yet closed the weekly chart below this blue line here. We haven't. You see all the weeks here? Always we closed above, but if you close it below it, it's another sign that we have, that we might have this cross here. We might have this candle here closing below this trend line. It's another piece of information showing us that, yes, perhaps we're going to see this three, four, five, and then those, the, perhaps a double bottom, perhaps one new low here, 5,500, or perhaps, perhaps 5,100. Okay, let's take a look at the daily chart. So here we have the daily chart again. I told you guys that this trend line, this blue trend line, would be kind of a, a, a strong support because we have those uh, 
those this first candle here trying to break this TD sequential support then this second one now we have three days that we are kind of a, in a bullish momentum but it's not really it's just it's just a reaction right you see that the volume is getting weaker so and we have this huge week here the, the bulls try to push it above it but a lot of uh, pressing, a, a lot of selling pressure, which indicates this uh, this uh, weaker this this volume of buyers decreasing. This is what's happening. We, we we haven't closed the candle here, but if we have a hammer, a hammer like inverted hammer like inverted hammer like this, so I I I see this trend line not holding, which would indicate that targets. Those targets, that targets, I'm sorry, that I have been calling, this target here especially, 5100, remember, this is in the daily chart, it's also showing this is strong support here. It's the same algo target, minus 360%, minus 618, 127%, 20% of this movement here. A, this A, B, it's the same, the same count, okay, guys? A, B, C, the same weird A, B, C, the same running flat, trying to break the 50% of this whole structure here twice, failing, then we have the B, and then we, are, we will would have this, all those targets here, all those algo targets showing that we would go down, try to break 6K first, of course, we need to break the 6100 here, we tried, but we failed, the 6100, and now we would need to break it with confidence, break the support, go to the minus 33-60%, this would be roughly uh, 5,700, which would make a uh, double bottom and would make uh, would challenge the lowest low of the year again. We are now uh, in this correction for today is the 14. Yes, we are 30, 301 days. Oops, 202 days. Okay, and uh, yeah. 30% of the time spent in this correction, right? The time is, but that we spent in this impulse, we're now spending correcting. Uh, I don't know, we might be, this is December, we might start the, the beginning of the year still correcting this, is the whole, this whole wave C, or I might be totally wrong and we might have a W, X, this might be an X and then a Y here. If we go up, I have a different count. Okay, guys, I have a different count, but it's weird. Again, it's another count that is taking into consideration that we might have a W here. That would be an A, B, C. This would be a W, and then we would be starting an X here and then a Y. Who knows? We don't have data. We don't have data to support another count. Okay? Uh, this movement here is really weird because it's going sideways. In, when we look at it at the daily chart, it doesn't really look like a motive. It doesn't look like nothing. Okay. And if, if you are into Forex, if you are into stocks, we had a, a huge plunge on Thursday, which is the same day that we had this, this, this sell off here. And we had a, a kind of a flow of money into gold. So is it, is it a coincidence? I don't think so. People people decide to take money out of Bitcoin and put money on into gold. So are are we gonna now reverse this 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 reverse this trend here? I don't think so. After such a sell off here, uh, this is showing weakness. And if we turn on the 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 EMAs, it's just it's. It's, it's everything below the 21 EMA. We are not even testing the 21 EMA. All the EMAs is acting as a resistance now. So, huh. and we are now testing the down, the bottom line of this uh, Dolce & Channel. If we break it, we try it twice, but now we are trying to break, to, to go above and we are not really successful doing so so, so successfully doing so um 
So guys, um, a lot of indecision, I know, and it's part of the, the market. But I am expecting again this movement here. That's that's wrapping up. I think that we haven't finished this wave three, and we are gonna have one of those targets here, perhaps a double bottom here, fifty eight hundred. Okay. So, <clears throat> guys, thanks for the support. Thanks for everything. And if you like, give me a thumbs up. It's always important. And join us in our Discord server. The link is in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and join me, follow me on my Twitter, the link in the description, the, my Twitter handle is Akumalo Crypto. And it's always a pleasure to have you guys here. So, we see you, I see you guys later. I think that this week is gonna be awesome. Cheers, bye bye.